It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders on Thursday night. Well, this building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Washington Commanders. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. They're led out by the former Oregon Duck in his ninth NFL season now, Marcus Mariota. Coming out of Oregon as the Heisman Trophy winner, we thought that this guy was headed towards superstardom, and while he didn't quite reach those heights, he did have some flashes along the way. And right now, his athleticism continues to keep him in the league. Still has a good arm, mobile, a great guy to have in the locker room. He can win if given an opportunity. To throw quickly, here's Mariota. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and seven. From the gun, Mariota. Taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. A first down throw for Mariota. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. They'll try to throw now. Mariota. Looking for Dotson. He's got him. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the seven. A well-executed 22-yard gain. 
A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Mariota. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. John Bates, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the, right? high that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. And they'll begin by running the option. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he's got some space here. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. No gain on the play. And that will bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Hurt sets up to throw it. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Throwing his hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Stop short of the 25, and that second effort got him a couple extra. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. 
They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Hurts. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. Decent run, maybe hoping for a little bit more. It does those set up third and manageable? And every play this run, if it's blocked perfectly and executed perfectly, it's set up to go for a touchdown, right? But I like the way you described that one. Just get into a third and manageable. Nice decision making, and took care of the football. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there, and I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so. Bring it up second down and a bit farther. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Barkley going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Now it's Crowder. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Marcus Mariota in the offense heading back out. He was 4-4 on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass, as he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down.
Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and three. Once more, here's Eckler. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They go play action. Mariota. That one caught by the tight end, Bates. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it, forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. It was Cleland Furl who was able to rush in and make that tackle. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So much of his game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lock one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and ten as this new drive starts. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and ten at their 35-yard line. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Five yards that time, taking it himself, and he has enough for the first. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Fighting Ertz here on the out route. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's second and seven. Now Mariota. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now they need two. Here's third down. Now a handoff to Rodriguez. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. First carry here for Robinson. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 21, here's second and four. And now a run with Rodriguez. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. To throw Mariota. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you got someone to tackle him. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Mariota. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. The kick by McManus is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half. 
with his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Defense! 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 He'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Play action. Here's Hertz. And that's going to be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw again. Throw out wide is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Crowder now to return. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the commanders on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half for the veteran quarterback, Marcus Mariota. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And you know what I think the defense is saying back to them? Why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, get us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. Here's second and ten. Up the middle with Barkley. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll drop the throw. Burks fumbles it. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved, and that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right, and the ball got knocked free. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And their defense just helped him out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle with Eckler. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now an option play on second down. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15. And they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. There's still a little... Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dotson from 13 yards out. And the Commanders go up by two touchdowns. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. McManus's point after is good. And the lead is now 
after the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. But first down, Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down at the 30-yard line. A big play there for Philly. 49 yards. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 56 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. They'll get this out in a hurry to Parker. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. No question. He's so dangerous down here near the goal line. The safeties, they have to be involved in run support against a quarterback like this. And in turn, they're going to ask their teammates to be involved as well. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. No touchdowns for them in the first half, but their defense kept them in this ball game. So now, maybe this can loosen them up a little because they played tight so far, and they get right back in it with a touchdown run. Elliott good on the extra point, and that slices the lead down to 17-10. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'll give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run and then executed. From the 22 now, here's the second and nine. It's Eckler again. 
And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Third and short yardage, Mariota. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A quick throw there is incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On second down, Eckler. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 58 yards rushing for him now to this point. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Got a man, it's Deami Brown, complete. Now he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Here's Mariota. This will be caught once again by Brown. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. If I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive has eaten up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Eckler. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. Now McManus for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run.
After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Got a man, it's Brown. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 18 more yards there and another first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Throwing his hurts. He's got his tight end. It's Albert Okuwebunam. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football, and that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Good yardage on the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Hurts. To Barkley on the check down. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll set up second in goal. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line, second in goal. This is caught. 
They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Parker from three yards out. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock defensively. They have three timeouts, so do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute warning in place, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. What may seem a little unorthodox to some people, got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll run again here with Robinson. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Here's Tressway now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Hurts and the Eagles now, down 24-17. Just over a minute, 40 to play. They need a touchdown and the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10.
He's back to throw. And that's complete to Brown. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Well, plenty of time to work with here, but the timeouts, they're gone. Here's first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Another try, second and ten now. Back to throw. He dumps it off to Barkley. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 42. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Here's first down. Back to throw. This is Smith to the ground. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Haven't heard much from him all night, but welcome to the party, making his presence felt in a big way. They've kept him under wraps all night long, but boy, did he find a great time to bust out. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis.